The next action I want to show you is to resize the mixer with its sends and effects. Let's open up our mixer. And we see by default, we're just seeing this information. Here's our faders, our effects, pans, and so on. But we're not seeing our effects individually on the track or our sends. And if I right click over here, we can see over here, we should be seeing them, but only when size permits. Our inserts and our sends and so on. So right now, we're not seeing them. But we can, if we put our cursor up here, see the cursor changes, then we can grab it and reveal the things you want to see. Our effects plugins, our sends, adjusting the height of each. But you can see, I'm only doing it on one track. We probably want to do it on all the tracks. And we can do that by adding in a modifier. On PC, it's Control, and on Mac, it's Command. Hold it down, go to any track where we see this cursor, and pull it down, and they all move together. So you can now see our effects and our sends, or anything else we want to reveal in the mixer. Now, if we don't want to do it on all tracks, as we saw before, we could do it individually like this, or we could do it on groups. Let's select these tracks, add in another modifier. So on PC, it's all control, and on Mac, it's option command. And just do the same thing. And now, it's only going to be affected by the tracks we selected, these three. So you can readjust it just for these three tracks, just to see what we want to see. Do the same with these two, just adjust what we want to see. But again, we could do it individually just by grabbing one or all tracks using control on the PC or command on the Mac. And that adjusts all the tracks together. So we can see exactly what we want to see. In this situation, our plugins and our sends. If we don't want to see that, just drag it to the top to just see this info. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.